I'll I get you a pair. Do love those glasses. Hey everybody, Josh Wolf. Welcome to High Live with my very special guest, Annie Motherfucking Letterman. What? Oh, how are you? Were you getting nervous? You were gonna say my last name wrong? No, all those because I I almost did because someone they corrected the wrong thing. Someone said Lederman. Yeah, it's not right. And I was like, that doesn't right. seem like that's how you. That's would not how you say it. You wouldn't spell Lederman. There'd be there'd two, be an I or there'd two be, E's. Yeah, there'd be D. Yeah, things involved. I mean, there's a D. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, is there no D? <laughs> this is a COVID. I'm biting it already. <laughs> well, listen, I'm guys. We're gonna light up and let me just do a little roll call and say hello to everybody. Danica and Joy and Omar and Sean. Sean, I got your T-shirt coming out. Travis and Elaine. Uh, Mary, love the glasses. Thank you. Bobby, Selena, Nathan, Kylie. Listen, everybody. What I have with me tonight is not only somebody who's incredibly funny, not only somebody who I know will enjoy my sunglass collection, unlike anybody else has so far who's joined us. Yeah, these fucking losers. I don't get it. Not only that, but I finally have someone who likes mushrooms as much as I do. I love them so. Every time I go on mushrooms, I'm like, when do we get to do more mushrooms? Yeah. <laughs> I'll cry too. Every time someone tells me they had a bad trip, I'm like, tell me what happened. And I'm always like, that sounds like a great trip. They're like, I cried. I died. I came back to life. I'm well, like, we're going to light up with you now. Um, everybody, this joint, uh, you know, I, I had a special guest, so I went and got us a special joint. This joint has Keef on the outside, wax on the inside. It is a 50, 50 sativa indica split. Ooh. I got you your own. Keef and weed. We call it queef. Queef. For short. Queed. <laughs> um, and we uh, we will be. I've already taken my edible and some mushrooms. Annie's already taken her mushrooms, and we are off. We're gonna be fucked up. I'm going days. to light up. So I'll say hello to everybody. I have to tell you my weed background. Mm -hmm. I quit weed. I started weed again. I'm quitting weed tomorrow. This is my going away party for weed. So I plan really? on smoking a lot of it. Well, I'm gonna smoke all of it. Yeah. So I don't condone this behavior. I think weeds for losers. Hold on one second. And Let me shut this. All of you need, you guys need to reevaluate your lives. <laughs> <laughs> After tonight. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Because if you smoke weed tomorrow, you're a loser. Tonight, you're really cool. Mm. This joint is fantastic. Now. We have our own each, right? Yes. Okay. Tonight, guys, to give, to give away, <laughs> I've got T-shirts. I have one more of these hats to give away i never give these away but since i when you we, we, later <coughs> but since, add plus mushrooms plus weed Whoops. i know but <laughs> since uh we gave this one to dave last week uh a queef is something else in texas yeah here too just seen um El Quifo. <laughs> i think that's on the new taco bell memory yeah, it is. now that's what they put in your taco when you complain mm. Um, so we'll be <coughs> giving those away. We're going to do the accents. Um, I'll probably draw one more picture. Did you, did you know I'm an artist? <laughs> no. Have you seen any of my drawings? Let before? me see. I can draw too. You know that, right? Okay. Well, hold on. Are yours fake? No, not fake. Who do you, you know who that is. Right? <coughs> Ozzy Osbourne. Goldie Hunt. Goldie Hunt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Goldie Hunt. All right, we're just getting uh, Annie up to speed. Looks like me. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. Um, that's uh, Kevin James. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum, okay. So what you guys know, we'll get to the drawings. We'll do an accent. Uh, Chris, there's my boy, my patron. Chris, Yay! My patron. What's and, up, dude? And Annie's going to be in charge of who we give the gifts to so you guys get so your shit together. Uh, I went to... Cleveland this weekend and did stand up comedy. Oh my god, I'm gonna get COVID. <laughs> yes, <laughs> tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> I went to COVID land, and I will tell you that it's the safest. So, this club, no recycled air, their HVAC system pumps all the air. It's one of the reasons that I was like, Yeah, I'll do your club. It, no, you're not sitting in certain recycled air. It pumps it all out. This sounds like someone trying to justify a decision. It just sounds like a dude. <laughs> you know what it sounds like? It sounds like a guy like trying to talk somebody to Daniel for the first time. Yeah. No, it's good. Like, it's recycled air. Yeah. <laughs> it probably it might not feel good at all. But it could. Some girls love it. Is that the way you talk somebody into that? Some girls love it? That's a terrible argument. I just throw in What's give me the best give me the best or worst 
line a guy has ever given you to try to convince you to have sex or go out with him or anything like that? Oh, um, I gave a friend of mine from high school, I gave him a really bad blowjob when we were like 16. And he brings it up, like he'll bring it up a lot. And I'm like, you know, I know you're trying to get me to suck your dick. Like he'll be like, wow, that blowjob was so bad. Like you're like when I was a child. Yeah. So he thinks <laughs> it was before I knew. Josh, it was before I knew like sounds were good. So I was trying to give like a silent. I was trying. I was like, no slurping. Were, you, I didn't know right, that. Like you I was, were trying. Now to, I'm like, oh, you're supposed to slurp. You were trying to Helen Keller it. I was trying to Helen. Ke well, Helen Keller been like, oh, uh, no, no noise. So, right? I think. Audition she again. made noise. She just didn't hear it. Oh, you can't see my boobs. My That's so mean. God, did you say she made noise, but she didn't hear it? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Huh. I'm That's high for already. I know I'm getting pretty fucked. I'm up. high already. I'm high already. Um. So we don't don't even worry about shit like that. No, I was oh, not yeah. being serious. Okay. Um. A boomerang BJ. A circus seal. That was one of my friends used to call oh. that. Oh, Christy. What I'm smoking tonight is a joint that is. Uh, Sativa um, uh, indica hybrid with keef on the outside and wax on the inside, and I'm fucked up already because the mushrooms are starting to swirl. Oh around god, in I my forgot brain. about the mushrooms. You did. I mean, that's not. I'm good. gonna put this. Are you gonna? Are you, there's wait, your, but this is grab the uh, poke bash. There you go. Quitting way tomorrow, guys. Guys, just remember. By the way. This CBD drink, which isn't CBD, it's hemp. Man, if you go there, the first 10 people who go there and order something, by the way, I drink this every day. I drink the cola now. It's so fucking good. It evens you out, man. For me, it takes away a lot of my anxiety. First 10 people who go there and order something, I'm going to send you a t-shirt for free. Cleancraft.com, C-L-E-E-N-C-R-A-F-T.com. Go there. First 10 people who order something, send me proof of purchase, and I'll send you um, a t-shirt. Bam. Yeah, we took some shrooms, Charles. So uh, things are about to get different. But I do want to start, guys. It's been a while since I read to you. And since Annie really asked specifically for me to read um, from the children's book, I will. Have you ever read The Gas We Pass? No, I haven't. Maybe I have. This is The Gas We Pass. There was a poop one, I remember. Yeah, everyone poops is inside. Yeah. I think there's one called Barbara's Angry Beaver. Wow. Is that right, guys? Were Is you the beaver played by Ellen? <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like a short-haired lesbian? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I think it's called Barbara's. Were you Bubba's Kush? That's not what I want. What's going on, Jerry? When can I order the little hands? Guys, these are online. Not like this. This is specialty made motherfucker that's so funny uh yeah yeah yeah. i know i know what i'm you know what i'm saying andrew um okay guys we're gonna read a little out of this if you have questions by the way um yeah feel free to ask okay i'll jump in i've never are, not are, i know <laughs> are you are you um i'm starting a little hot oh i'm high as shit yeah so, no, but I'm going to stay alert and with it. And I promise, even if I think something's going to sound stupid, to say it anyway. You guys yeah. are going to hear everything off the top of my fucking head. Oh, I really am. I'm, I'm so I'm looking going forward to in. that. One second. I think I'm probably going to have to do this. All right. Oh. Oh, did Whitney give you these ones? No. Whitney gave me those. She did? And uh, thing, I did, one of her gift bags had this in it. No. And the little thing that said women like to be CEOs. I was like, what? Whitney, did you look at this? Why does Whitney give gift packs? When you go to her house she like, and you do stuff with her, she gives you like a gift bag with makeup and stuff. So if you just go to She's her- She's like going to a red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> her house is so nice. You get gifts. It's so beautiful. Oh, I bet. I bet. It's gorgeous. But you get like a gift bag for leaving? Well, I don't know. I've never gone there not filming something or doing oh, something. Oh, got it, got it, got so it, got it. I don't know it, if it. it's like a- For everything. Right, but right. I feel like it is. I mean, what I was watching. Oh wait, I was watching. Do you ever look at gift packs? Have you had the same one every time? Well, I yeah, no, it's been it's the it's same. It's still one. pretty great to get a gift pack when you leave someone's house. Well, I think we should always do that. I was watching on YouTube on uh, you know how you can watch they go through tour celebrities' homes. Yeah, they toured Neil Patrick Harris's home, and his him and his husband have like when you go out, you sign a guest book. Yeah, like they're a museum. I mean, imagine. That, like I can't wait to be on the museum level. But what I'm a museum. What? Wait, 
So oh. they sign it and then they open, there's a file cabinet with a bunch of little boxes and you un, you pull out the drawers and there's a prize for you in the drawer. Like they have like $25 Starbucks, they'll have like a Target card. They have random things that you can. Talk about the absolute ultimate trophy generation thing to do for people. You're so special just for coming over. I'm going to give you a prize. It's a, it's a, I, I want to do, I think it's a good power move when you get really like, when you get up, when you're famous, people are like trying to out famous each other. So thanks for coming over. Go to Starbucks. I mean, I guess. But like, here's this thing. You can get a really fancy latte. I, you know what though? Here's why I could never do it. Cause it's, it feels super condescending. It's like, thank you for coming to my, child, <laughs> yeah. my children's birthday party. <laughs> it seems so condescending. I think and that's why you, I like it, And though. thank you for coming over. Here's a little something. It's like saying good luck with that when you leave. Yeah. That's the best way to end a conversation with yeah. someone where you win. You go, good luck with that. Good luck with that. And you're out. Yeah. Tell me how that goes. That's a good one, too. I <laughs> tell like me it. how that goes. Hey, tell me how that goes. That's how. <laughs> I feel like you've said that to me so many oh, times. Oh, tell me how that goes is one of my favorite. Because, I've definitely heard you and yeah. you've looked at me and said that before. <laughs> because you really... Because if you say it at the right time, it's a good dig. Yeah, yeah. tell me how that goes. And people are like, okay. And you're like, okay. Because you know it's not going to go that Send way. me the script. That's yeah. Send me the script. <laughs> I'll do punch up. Yeah. Hey, write it. just write it down. Write me a note. Okay. $1,500 a day. So listen, this last page. Guys, we know where we've gone. Um, this last page kind of told you how much. Wait, did you? Is, are you in the middle of this? Yeah, I usually only get to a page. Oh my a god! Page, a page of, uh, that's so funny. I can only You're so high that you can only do two pages at once. Yeah, and then it gets too long. It's we're like twenty minutes in. That's me sober. I'm yeah. very happy. <laughs> it puts me to sleep. I'm just saying though. But I this... try to read, but I fall asleep. Does anyone else have that problem? Me. I fall asleep when I read uh, regularly. It's, it's so the, upsetting. It's the best sleeping pill around. A book, especially if the letters are small. Oh my god! Good night. When you get through it and you realize. I read all these pages and then it's the Roman numerals. I get yeah. so mad. <laughs> I'm like, I read half a book already. Um, guys, you know, this was the math part. We just discussed how much people farted that. So this is totally for boys. Well, this is marketing towards dads and boys. Uh, maybe it's just called the gas. We pass a story of farts. Who can we look this, this author up? Yeah. Shinta Cho. Let's yeah. see what else they got going. Okay. I would bet you they have something like something in the everyone poops <laughs> realm. They should do ones like everyone gets BO for like I, teens. I think they do. Wait, we should write kid like teenager books. I feel like I'm, <laughs> that's not a dig at any of our peers. <laughs> what are you doing, man? You going inside? Um, Go ahead. Sorry, but guys, that's Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, go inside, man. Go on. Oh my God. Good boy. His balls are so crazy. Beth. It's such a crazy thing to have balls on your dog. Beth. Oh, we were just. You can't. Did you just... Beth loves his balls. <laughs> she thinks they're so cute. No. She does. She thinks they're so cute. Oh my God. So, but that's got to be the name of like, that's the best clickbait I've ever heard. It's our Wi Fi. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, be that your big ass, dude. What are you doing, bro? Oh my god. god. It's his balls. He, they used to drag them along. He's such a fucking dick. <laughs> it must be so weird. And they're just smacking around. Here's I'll tell you what. His thing is that like he doesn't ever really know where he wants to be. How old is ah, he? That hurt. I don't maybe almost two. I burned myself. Um, okay. Here we go, guys. Gas we pass. Now listen, we also are being very informational in this one. You see this cat? See cat? Don't even think about it, man. Oh, you motherfucker. I mean, in the good boy. He's so cute. He's the cutest. He's but sweet. he was pretty sure he wanted to go inside. Where'd you I, get him? Um, we got him in a shelter. I gotta tell you, so He's he's the most sensitive, like, but he oh, super gets scared sweet. super Aww. easy. And Do they have any idea what his history was? No, but when Jacob picked him up, so we were like, well, someone's gonna pick him up, but we don't 
they didn't have him for long enough to know what kind of temperament. We were like, what's it going to be like if we pick him up and put him in the car? And they were like, we're not sure. We haven't had him for that long. Oh, that's scary. But he seems nice. And we were like, cool. So oh, Jacob and I were like fucking rock, scissors, paper. Yeah. <laughs> well, who's getting bit in the face? Um, But he was like, I'll do it because – he was like, my arms are so long, I can actually hold them a little bit away. I go, okay. I said, I'll grab them too. This dude goes completely dead stiff. Oh, my Dick. God. That's so scary when dogs do that. He, I mean, he was just. I fall for, when dogs play dead, I fall fuck. for every time. He was so scared. He it was, was like, so manipulative. I'm not getting in there. Thing. It was. <laughs> they manipulate you. My <laughs> parents' dog, I got him this jacket, and yeah. he didn't like the jacket, so when you put it on him, he would pretend to die. And my hilarious. mom would tear the thing off of him, and then he'd be fine. Yeah, man. Manipulative. Hey, there's then that is a there's a rule. Don't put clothes on your dogs. <laughs> that you know every picture you see with the clothes of the dog, the dog's like, like yeah. Are you gonna show people this fucking picture? You don't want a vest, do you, buddy? All right, hold on. You're so big. Gas we pass. Look, there's a little cat. Oh, that's funny. What does that say? It says burr, burr. <laughs> <laughs> This cat. Look at this cat go at it. Five a five peat. I mean, that's pretty good. A fiver. And the, they all seem crisp and singular. They get and they get um, they bigger don't, too. I don't think they go this way. They go this way. Right, but I'm saying they get bigger. Oh yeah, that means the first one was a ripper, <laughs> and it's just tapering off from there. But I like it. It's I'm offended by potty talk. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're doing potty talk. This is bad. Yeah, I got I just got one more. My nieces will be laughing their asses off. What the shit? Is that a coin? Is he dead? Is that a coin <laughs> in his eye? Looks like Penny from. Uh, wow. So remember Penny from Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Yeah. Animation. Penny eyes. Don't hold them in. Pass that gas. I have m many questions about what the grandson is. That a grandson? Also, why is the grandfather wearing Janko jeans? <laughs> <laughs> is he a raver? What is this? <laughs> That means he's on Molly. <laughs> that's why his eyes like that. Yeah, that's why he's having trouble with his stomach. The kid's like, give me the pacifier. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, I gotta Where's take my, that. Where are my glow sticks, yeah. Grandpa? <laughs> Jenko jeans. Grandpa is wearing Jenko jeans. I also am really not psyched with the way they drew his face and head. What's the situation? Why such a small lower? <laughs> yeah, there's no chin. There's zero. It's unless they want that to be a really pointed chin and there's no mouth. That's upsetting. Either one doesn't. Don't feel try good. that one on. That one's he, not a good. One. I mean, he seems totally normal. Right. This could be a beard. <laughs> a white beard. <laughs> <laughs> Go huh? for it. I mean, it's not, but it could be. I'm you just squint to make it happen. I'm just saying, because look how front heavy. His head is. And but do you see how this could is. be? But look how that could, you could make that a goatee if you really wanted to. That could be like a, it's a white, he's got a ginger or a white goatee. Okay. But also if it isn't, <laughs> look how skinny his neck is compared to the size of the front of his head. How does he keep that up? You know, he, he spends his whole day just like. That's why his pants are so big. <laughs> like they put him out. They got to even it out. Um, all right. Well, apparently this dude took some miles. Look at his little foot, too. I know. <laughs> That's really upsetting. <laughs> Whoa! His foot looks like a like rice pilaf. <laughs> Why is his foot so small? It's ridiculous. Rice pilaf was really good, you guys. What? Well. Do you see it? Yeah. I'm a little concerned by the entire thing. I'm a little concerned. Oh my god! All right, this is fun. Well, I can only. Th what the fuck? This looks like mash. Okay. What? What do you think the sentence is? We're pickle people. What? We're people dressed like pickles. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> what do you? There's one sentence. What is that? What are they? It looks like they're fucking a patient that's asleep. It looks like. <laughs> 
there's a patient that's like napping or in a coma and he's lifting up and he's doing the like passed out patient doggy style. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, uh, this is this dude trying not to fart right before he operates on somebody. <laughs> That's, well, that's really what it is. Yeah, that's their example. There, but well, is but, he like he's squeezing, he's white knuckling this I, thing to not I, fart. He's like he's, he's he's like he's reverse queefing. He's like he? pulling it out. <laughs> is he on a roller coaster? Why is he holding on so tightly? Look at, and this woman is in the line of fire. She doesn't even know it. Also, this looks like maybe it's a patient who <laughs> stole a doctor's outfit. What's going on? In like, the doesn't it look like this is a patient that ran and is trying to escape? Oh my god! So they had to dress up like a doctor. Like, why do they have the patient's is that robe bare underneath? Skin? No, it's the patient's robe. Oh, what's the going on with the hair there? <laughs> I'm in chemo. I don't know. It's they're in the hospital. What is? It's not what good. What is going on with the hair there? Shaved Britney head. I don't know. This dude. Bad hair plugs. That's what That's that really. Is. But look, this. Okay, this picture makes me laugh, man. The look nose is very phallic. No, look how happy he is. You know why he's so happy? You guys know I can't figure out where that fucking camera is. There it is. That's not it. Damn it. That's it. Look how happy he is. Just because he farted, man. He's like, the nurse is so happy that there's <laughs> that there's action things. Like she's shaking her, she's look, quaking. Do you see? Like, do you see the action marks? Look, yeah, look, she's quaking. Look how do you see happy? that the the art, artist wanted us to see that? If you guys <laughs> know me, you That's know good artistry. How much I like this picture because how fucking psyched all three of these people are that this dude froze. They're like, yeah. <laughs> That's it. That isn't that what it says? It means your intestines have started to. This is a romantic book. <laughs> I hope there's some people like I hope there's a proposal tonight. I gotta tell you guys. That's enough of that book. That's tonight. good. Let's win you guys. It's so funny that you only get two <sighs> pages done a day. It's too much. It takes too long. The idea of taking us the smallest book in the world and not being able to get through it because you're high is the funniest thing. What <laughs> happens every week? I get this tonight was two pages. I actually turned the page and said something else. Usually I can only get the first, <laughs> the first two because I get so confused. But this was pretty straightforward. This tonight. is a great idea. <laughs> so good. This is what we do. But let's give something away. You ready? Yes. Annie. Okay. Would you like to solve an, a bad accent or would you like me to draw something and have you tell me who you think it is? Wait, what's the bad accent thing? Well, I'll pick, I'll just draw, I'll pick an accent and I'll say it and you, with the, with their help, you will try to guess what the accent is. Okay. I don't have to do an accent. I'm doing the accent. I was like, I skip when people are like, do you guys want to do accents? I'm like, skip, can yeah. you pass? Yeah. <laughs> no. I get nervous. Um, okay, so oh, by the way, just so you guys know, the edi twiggled. edible for me just started to kick in, so I do want to give a shout out to Absolute Extracts, the best edibles in the game, guys. The best edibles in the game. Not even close. I had a hundred tonight. I had two of these. I mean, these are fifties, right? Yep. There you go. And so <laughs> you're so sloppy. You're like so. You know, that's it's so funny to sell something when you're high. Well, I mean, I try to wait. And it is a, it's a chill product. So you, I try to wait until I'm high because like, You're like this, they should know how high it gets you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm super happy all the time. Like these are great edibles. You, he's going bananas now, but it, these are good. These are good. So you guys know me, you know how high I get. I think I want drawings. I played Pictionary. Oh wait, I did a game night last night. And does that? I don't mean, think you, I like mean, game night. I don't know if I like game night. Does that mean you think that you're gonna ace this? No, I th I it might bring triggering moments from last night. Okay, <laughs> no, just, we, it's just it's intense to play game night with people. But people take it very seriously. We don't. Oh, Josh, it's weird when you play with people that are everyone was competitive except me. I was like, uh, I you mean about the game? Yeah. Mm. You know who that is? 
Um, yeah, that's um, Tom Segura. Jo Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's an obese Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, listen. no offense, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on, Steven Tyler. Oh, uh, um, I'm that's Axl Rose. No, that's um. <laughs> I think it's uh Pippi Longstocking. Uh, what's her name? Lindsay Lohan. No, damn it. That looks like Lindsay Lohan. Um, Let me see it. Red, hey, who is that? For guy? his art level skill, wouldn't this be the perfect Lindsay Lohan? Yeah, but who is that? Who can tell me who that who I actually Doesn't drew? that look like Lindsay Lohan? Who did I draw? Is that Julianne Moore, maybe? I think it's Julianne Moore. All right. Okay. All right. So guys, she looks like Lindsay. We're <laughs> yeah, Segura. Hold on, let's talk to them for just a little bit before we. I want to talk to them. Okay, Gina Davis, you can't guess yet. I haven't started drawing anybody. Um, so here's what I have. I'll draw. Okay. I'm gonna give you five guesses. Okay. With their help. So, so, so be careful. Dude, you're like oh, I'm slit hot. eyes looking oh, at me. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> yeah. There. Hold on one second. This is. This is I was always the person that like when your parents' friends would come in, I would be like, I got this, guys. And I'd talk to them. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We're just going to finish up our milkshakes and go to bed. And No, nobody smoked anything. Uh, we're just. You know. Like when the cops would bust our parties in college, I was always like, I'll handle it, guys. I'll handle it. <laughs> All right. It just looks like a hat, honestly. It really does. The front it looks is like so one of those... bananas. Wait, do you watch Alive? Alone? I mean, Alone? Yes. Alive is when they eat. Yeah. But that could, it could turn into a Alive. I watch that too, by the way. Yeah. It could turn into a Alive. Uh, um, crazy. What season are you on? Well, I watched just, I think, the most recent season with all the women on it. Um, were they in the Arctic or were they? Oh, in... I don't know where they were. I don't. I, when I watch TV, I half watch so I can rewatch. Did someone? I'd be surprised by who wins. Okay. I well... do that with Survivor. I do it with Big Brother. Is anybody watching Big Brother? No. You should. It's the only thing on. Um, I watch. Big Brother's a good waiting for Survivor to come back. Is it? So, do you watch Survivor? I watch. Okay. I watch Alone. Okay. I watch... Survivor. Survivor. Uh, we don't Have watch, you? When We don't watch it anymore. Did, when did you stop? Maybe five seasons ago, six. We Come stopped back. The, We stopped Amazing Race, too. Come back. Really? Come back to Survivor. Survivor's good, uh, dude. Okay. You, it's, you're bad if you consumed too much. I mean... Were you watching them? Were you binging them or were you? Oh, no. We were watching them when there were, were commercials waiting. and shit. It's different. Come back. Okay. All right. Guys, never, ever, ever leave Survivor. He's, it's just disgusting what he's done. Listen, guys. Greatest show on television. Great. I ran into Jeff Probst and I freaked out. He was my like celebrity. He was my guy. Like I saw him in a coffee shop and I was like, you're my person. I was like, you're my person that I would do this. And I'm sorry. I don't like, I was like, I'm a comedian. I like, I'm a little bit of a public figure. I was, I name dropped Rogan so fast. I was like, I just talked about you on Joe Rogan's podcast. <laughs> and he was like, and I talked to him, he took a picture with me. He's like, you should come on the show. I was like, nope. he is, by the way, I've met him a bunch of times. Talked to him a bunch. He's cool, right? Un excessively He's so cool. Right? Nice cool yeah he's fucking, normal he's the best he's the best the show's the best he's the best normal he's the best he dude. handled what ha what i did to him so well he's got a great he also, was so good he's got a great sense of humor i wish i had drawn you already jeff but i'm i'll draw you some other time man if but, you say that survivor sucks you'll never win a present on this ever i mean i'll ban you forever <laughs> and he's picking who wins all right everybody you ready survivor's so good all right When's the last time you guys saw it? Billy Ray, you got it. That's exactly right, Nicole. Survivor's so good. Okay, Shame here we go. All, all, right. <laughs> all right, here we go. You ready? Do you I'm, need to see? I'm thinking satanic things against these people. No. no. I want to stick to, okay. I'm not taking it personally, guys. <laughs> if Survivor gets canceled, I'll track you all down. I'll find you.
<laughs> okay, here we go. I have a buff, okay? A buff? I got. I have a survivor buff. I don't know what that means. You know the buffs, the things that they get to show what tribe they're on? Some of the girls wear them as shirts and stuff. Mm, yeah, the guys no. wear them in their hair. No, no. I don't know. I didn't know what the terminology was. You Buff? didn't watch. You got it. You need to dedicate yourself to survival. I mean, I'll take another look. You know, it just started to get pretty repetitive. And, and you, not that it was terrible, but like. Sure, I was kidding. Calm down. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, it's jokes. I promise. <laughs> Do you think she's violently defending Survivor? <laughs> <laughs> no, that part was true. Oh, but I would never penalize you for having your own views <laughs> on anything way, ever. <laughs> Guys. This head, I can't believe I'm about to say this. Let me rephrase what I'm about to say. The head that I drew, this is pretty good for what I've done before. It looks like an actual, could be an actual head. That's what you think looks like a head? That You're proud of this. Wait, can, can I ask you why? Well, okay. Sure. Like, okay, wait, can I show you why this would look but, like a good but head? But I just want to show you. But can I show you how this looks like a good head? The only way this looks like a good head, I think, is if this is tracing the top, very top of the head. If someone was doing a headstand onto this and then you trace the top of their head, that could be like the circumference. Okay, of but head. look what, what you're dealing with. Now, are you going square on purpose to kind of be like a chin? Okay. I'm not that one. That's good because it has a little bit. Do you see how the chin kind of dips in there? I don't think you did it on purpose, but. No, but this is a square jawed person. But the square jaw would be, unless square. like the neck, is the neck thick like here? I don't draw necks. Just heads. Should we get, I, do you want to learn how to draw necks? Or I, I, th I think, no. Okay. We're going to, oh, I forgot to tell you, I can't go back and fix anything. I just got to, that's why it all looks like that. Oh, that's Courtney. Uh, Cox, of course. Do you know her? You're friends with her, aren't you? No, I am not. You're not? Nope. I'm not. Doesn't Josh seem like he'd be friends with Courtney Cox? <laughs> I was, I like was this, like a hundred percent sure that you were friends with her. Nope, I don't. I don't even know if I've ever met. I don't know if I met her. I met um um Jennifer Aniston. Yes, but I don't think she'd remember who I am. I met her probably when the Chelsea days, probably, I would guess. Really? Were you nervous? No. You just act regular? <laughs> you're not like, you're Jennifer. I feel like I might go, can I have a moment just to acknowledge that you're Jennifer Aniston and then see if she would move forward? Or is it not, those aren't the vibes. I, I, I so I'm, I'm not going to buy what he's about to say, by the way. I geek out around athletes but not really around celebrities. Certain people get me. I don't know. I, I haven't seen, I mean, I guess I've seen, there are I met like Billy Bob Thornton once. That was weird. That would be super cool. Like I, I, I'm, I'm, but they're shiny. That's true. You know what I mean? <laughs> See, for when me, you meet a famous person, you guys, they're shiny. There's something like, but that, there's an extra shine. It's good skincare. No, but it, they glow. Yeah. Yeah. They have a famous person glow. It's good skincare. I kind of a glow now. I think I'm on my way. <laughs> so that's that's Greeks. Isn't that so funny yeah. to think that? And then I just you have, have to wash yeah. your face. I just have a shower in three days. Um, all right, here we go. I'm sorry. Let me get you guys what we're getting. Here we go. Let me get you guys what we're getting. People I'm, are very defensive of you. I'm done with that. Um, About your drawing. Oh, guys. I mean, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good eyebrows mm -hmm. beautiful thank you and so each time you draw something i you can if you want to but i only get five jeff's day day <laughs> things are just going at the pace i gotta go i love that you know how it goes, man. I know you're not surprised by that. It is super funny, though. I mean, come on. That is super funny. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. No, it's not. And by the way, oh, no, that's, here we go. Kevin thinks I look like 
Jim Varney. So he always guesses Jim Varney. Jim Varney. Ernest goes to camp. Oh, really? So it's super funny because he always. Is there a split screen of you two of them anywhere? I mean, I could get one. I definitely know there's a couple of pictures. Do you feel like him at all? In a couple of pictures. There are some pictures. And I think Kevin actually has sent me one where it's very Varney ish. He wasn't even that. He just looked old too. He probably wasn't even old when he when he was Didn't Ernest. He die, like younger. I don't know. Kevin is like a Jim Varney enthusiast. He has like a pillowcase and shit. <laughs> oh my so, god! Maybe he just sees Jim Varney everywhere because he loves him so much. I think so. Kev, That's get me that picture. Not Marty Feldman. Hilarious. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me get you a couple eyes. Ooh, do, that's oh, do we good. have a category? Those are pretty eyes. Um, guys, these. Oh, I fucked that one up. No, no that's not bad. No, they're good. They're good. I mean, they're really good, actually. Guys, this might be my best drawing. Those eyes are very good. They, <laughs> there's a little asymmetry, but a very natural asymmetry that everyone has in their face a little bit. It looks like it goes down like it's almost at a slant a little bit. And like the nose is going to come here. The bridge will be over to this side a little bit. This looks like Josh is of, killing one it. of the best drawings. Just, and you didn't believe in yourself until the very end. And then you looked, you took a step back and you you liked it. And then I. It's a lesson, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Eat mushrooms and smoke weed and do it on camera. Tell me, <laughs> where's that joint that you have? Can I have a good half of that joint? Which the one over here? Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Guys, we are. I mean, I can teach you some stuff, some small little changes that will really up your okay. eyeball and wait, face. Just game. wait until I. I when mean, you're done, but I, I'm. Does anybody want to take a guess? Should I? Should, should we I, have any? Like, do we know? Do we have any clues that I missed? Um. No, and I'm about to give you one. This is a man. I know you were probably half and half there for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes I'm in between. You never know these days. Okay. I just assume everyone's, you know. Yeah, I know. This is. Um, Gender's a drag. That is a man. Hold on. I can't really see anymore. All right. All right, that's you know what? We don't even ever have to put our lips on this. No. It's so cool. That's the whole situation. It's so cool. Um, all right. We need a nose. By the way, whoever wins this hat is going to earn it. Any guesses yet? I just want to – I want to promise you all. I would never disrespect the pit. I couldn't do it. Andrew Schultz, final answer. He's too. <laughs> he's. <laughs> he's too. If he was drawing Schultz, he'd have to go like this. Turn it over. <laughs> he has to go. Turn it up. All right, here we That's go. That's right. You know, you always have to turn the screen. The nose is where the problem usually is. Ooh, boy. I would have gone the other direction, but that actually looks good. It looks like a sunken in eye. Is that on purpose? Uh, no. And that nose is not. It's not the right nose. I don't think so. So it can't look like this because it's starting to look like one of my exes, but he's not famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, how crazy that would be. I was like, let's, oh let's, my God. let's just keep would that playing. That is so funny. <laughs> let's, just keep, let's just keep playing. Let's that just... is so funny. It's not your ex. Oh, oh that's so, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I'm going to pass it off. To okay, me. cool. I love lobster. That's great. This weed is pretty good. So we know it's a man. We know his nose doesn't look squiggly like that. We do know that. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Now here's where I got to make my, my mind, everybody. <laughs> Do I give him a smile or a mouth? The mouth is risky because I'm not real good at it. But it might tell you more about him. The mouth would tell me. Maybe. I don't know. I could just give you a little smile. I'll give you the option, right? Smile. 
Is that the guy from Step Brothers? It's <laughs> and Tim and Eric, does Tim and Eric shit? Uh, hold on. Let me show you what mouth looks like. I haven't done mouth in a long time. Yeah, I've done a lot of smiles. Ooh. Okay, that looks more mouth. I, I can try them. either one. That's the Emma Stone. eyebrows are so good. Show them. Yeah. Guys, you guys know Emma Stone. <laughs> you remember Emma Stone? Famous actress. So funny. Stage and screen, Emma Stone. <laughs> <laughs> so It looks like Roseanne. Yeah, this was an unfortunate one where I made a mistake. So you want mouth or just smile? I want mouth. Okay. Mouth it is. Who the fuck would say it's just smile? Who lets you off the hook like that? Some people who people don't, need to push you. People who to don't be your best. Who don't like train wrecks? <laughs> Let me ask you something. What is your like? If you would categorize your biggest train wreck on stage ever, like like I don't. By the way, oh I, no, I I no. don't like not when you were not a good comic. Do you know what I mean? Like when people say, "Well, the third time I was on stage," I'm like, "Yeah, everybody sucked." Yeah, but I mean, like you know what time when, when you'd you already. Done what you know how to do, do yeah, well. Yeah, well, you, like, you know what you're doing, and you still have just a complete shit in the bed. Yeah. Do you have one of those that off the top of your head? I feel like every time I'm on stage, that's how I feel like. <laughs> you really feel that way? No. Oh. Um, I. It's cold. I had a weekend that was so bad. A whole weekend? The last one was good because I did weed or I smoked. Someone goes, do you want an edible? You sound like my grandmother. You did I weed? Go, I, I did weed. Yeah. <laughs> no, but someone went, do you want an edible? I go, no, I don't. I don't like to get high before I go on. And they're like, I mean, who cares? Because I just bombed so many shows. And then I actually had a good set. I can't imagine you bombing. What was no? I bombed like the whole. I think if I go, I would go out there timid or something. I would give off some sort of like mm -hmm. uncomfortable thing. Yeah. But why do you? Because part of who you are and what you do is your is that energy you have. Yeah. You know what I mean? What? What? Why do you think it was that weekend that? I mean, well, I hadn't been, I hadn't gone up in a while, and I was really insecure about headlining because I was moved to head. Got it, got it. So then, I go to this play. It's so bad. Um, someone from college came. It was like so embarrassing. Oh, that that. And is... then, yeah. But then you look back on it, and you're like, even if people, like Tom Rhodes once said, he's like, your worst is like some people's best. You have to remember that. Yeah. He's like, you're not looking at it like from the eyes of. Like, you don't know. You, I know exactly what you mean. Like, how you also how you judge yourself as yeah. bombing is not a lot of times how it Other was received. Do, yeah. I will tell you, for me, the last time I remember really bombing, it really happened. Yeah, it was a for real. So me, I was with Brody. Oh, I bombed with Brody. Well, Brody didn't bomb. No, 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 no. Brody is I the bomb. worst when you bomb because he crushes. Brody, every every situation that any other person would bomb in, Brody yeah. is like. I so I like, am so psyched to do this. Perfect. Show. It's me, my name be Glebe, and Brody, and we're performing for the Dodgers. Oh no! I'm so fucking psyched. To That's do this. so bad. That's why. So, I. Ate shit in a way that when Tommy Lasorda came on stage mm -hmm. after me, he mentioned it. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you remember that roast with Jamie Foxx, like in the guy's head as he's bombing? Yes. I can, always think about. It. I'm always. Can like, I tell you? Be <laughs> because these, you know, for me, no, it's so embarrassing. Didn't I, I just tell, on a cruise before? But didn't I just tell you the people I geek out in front of yeah. are athletes? So these are my. Yeah, heroes. but you got in your head. That's probably why you bombed. Oh, right? I ate. Is that why you bombed? Because you were so nervous. In an uncomfortable way. Because you were nervous. I can't. I don't know why it happened, but it for sure went. When down you that need way. it to go well, does it ever? I mean, I've never had a situation where I'm like, I need this one, where I don't just get. I get like, 
No, like I don't. Again, so because I don't psych myself out ever. TV, I never feel bad about. No, I, I never psych myself out. TV, I I'm always like oh, psyched like, myself. Yeah, because Glebe crushed Brody. And then crushed. you were like, and then you were like, oh, I'll just. No, no, no! I bombed before they crashed. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! 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 Did no. you stay? See, I because I I'll peace. I, I don't care. I know. I actually, sad. I sandwiched because I think Glee. One of them crushed. I bombed, and then the other one crushed. So it wasn't even. I couldn't even have the excuse of like they had already killed the room, yeah. or that oh, I went first. And Did ate you a stay? Book. Yeah, because you know what I do like. I do like to see, and I made sure I stood next to Steve or Beth. Yeah. Because I do, I did like, I just, I'm a bit of an asshole and a sadist. I'm like, well, when they go, what are they yeah. going to say to me? I know, I've done that. And they're, and they're, and they were all very nice. They're like, tough room, man. Tough, you know, you got to know these guys have done the, most of them were like, these guys have done our stuff before, so they know what to say. Tough room. They were really nice. <laughs> Time of the Sora was not. He walked right past me. Yo, he was he was funny, but <laughs> he made it clear who didn't do well. <laughs> Dude, when I was leaving that weekend though, after I bombed and I was like so sad, yeah. I was on the plane. Yeah, and I was next to this guy, his name was Sam, and he started asking me. He was like this older black guy with an uh, African accent, and he was, you know, asking me like why I was so upset and. Like, and I was like, oh, I just like had such a bad weekend. And I had that show on E. So I had been like working on the TV shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I was like in the middle of just like going out there. And I went and just like, it was not good. And then. Um, but did you get. I got one show. I got it. I got it. But did you get anything out of the bombs? Of course. Yeah. Always. Do you know what you no, get out of the bombs? I don't even care. I'm like, yeah. Is that you don't. You learn not to care. Yeah. You learn to just try your oh, shit. Oh, I'll bomb. I don't and, give a shit. Yeah, you learn. To I'd just... rather bomb than be doing the exact same set. You know. I. If That's you... my hell. When when I get stuck in a set, because sometimes I'll get in a loop where I'm just like stuck in the set, and I'm like, oh so no. <laughs> I I really do, really do, try to come back to cities with forty five yeah. minutes of new material. And um, every now and then, I get a group of people ask me to tell a certain story, which takes up a big oh my chunk. God, that's so funny. It's super cool, I, and I it, and it you're takes like up fluffy. Well, no, it's just it's super cool that they <laughs> you're do that. Fluffy, and yeah, you're like yeah. fluffy. And I'm, I feel like one of the fucking <laughs> guys from that band, Alabama. <laughs> um, but uh, but it takes up. But so, so this time, where's Beth? She's at her sister's. <laughs> just it's her brother's birthday. She is she usually just like sitting around like my husband's just fucking around. It, yeah, <laughs> He's in I a can't. wig. Here's the thing. She, She'll just be like up there just so yeah. hot. <laughs> She's like brushing her hair on her time. It's so crazy. Sometimes I look, at you. I look at me like this and I look up at her. I'm like, what is she doing with me? I say that more times than I oh well. Okay, God. here we go. Let me finish. I gotta give some of this hat. Damn it. I gotta give someone this hat. Hold on. This is a man so far. Let me help with the mouth. Do you like the, what happened with the mouth? You know, like is is. Do a, you think it emulates the person in any way? Because right now we're just guessing anyone. Because yes, I think it emulates. Or do you think you've got them? You've captured them. No, you got. You've seen the examples of the drawing. <laughs> So this looks more like a person than most of the ones you've seen. Right. So I would say we're closer to something. Okay. We're not going to get a genre. Or... I'll get, I'll, I'll. We get to that. Okay. Let's keep going. I, we'll see what they come up with. Just know that right. she's wrong. <laughs> Deb. You, you guys remember this. Debbie's shaming you. Now. <laughs> that. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I already missed you. Exactly. Kayla's right. You got to solve it. Okay. It's Rob not... Lowe. Spade did Rob Lowe's podcast. I saw that. Oh, this is a mistake. I should have just... Because that's a type of mouth, but that's not the mouth. It's not like a model girl. You know, they have a... 
What's going on though? Why is it squiggly? You know, sometimes. No. What's that? You know, when girls have like their big ass upper lip. Well, it's a dude. It's, I mean, no, but that's a good guess. Keep coming with them. Yeah, that's a good guess. All right, here we go. May I call you Deb? Okay. No. <laughs> Larry <Okay>. David? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That was not it. Hmm. No, that wasn't it. See, I usually get tired, so it never gets all the way filled in. You know what I mean? Can we have some? Let's get some fucking clues going, right, okay. guys? All right. Okay. We want clues. Clues, clues, clues. TV. Fabio, that's funny. TV. TV? Okay. That's such an annoying clue. He didn't say, are they on TV? They have a TV show. Well, you know, it's not you movies. You just said TV. Okay. It's not movies. All right, that's a clue. Because TV usually goes with movies. I mean, there you go. I mean, I got to tell you, it's as clear as day. There's someone it looks like, but I don't trust that that's who it is. Best one yet. Nailed it. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. So it's up to you who you want to read. and I mean, you're the one giving it away. Um, I mean, this is, guys, the clearest one in the history of of this game. Joey from Friends? That is correct. That's who I thought too, Aaron. Where? Aaron Rayner right there. Renner. Right here? Yeah. I thought that too. That really looks like him. This if guys I when like, I said that it looks like one person, but I can't I and I, so did she. Wow. I I am telling you when somebody asked me how high did you get the other night, that's how high. Where I think I got... I think that it got gas. Guys, listen. Your boy is... I mean, I've... I've wait a second. I thought that. I've come a long way from Robert De Niro. You have... You Robert, have... Um, Robert De Niro. Forget <laughs> Asian. about it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an Asian guy. Like a... Yeah, but, he's, but he's going Doesn't forget. He? He's going forget about it. Forget about it. I'm my own. Um, but this is as clear as day. It's Joey from Friends. Joey from Friends. That's literally who I thought. Aaron, congratulations on winning that hat. That's the Aaron, fastest I'm so excited for you. that game has ever, ever gone. Aaron. I mean, guys, girl, this can't. I see you. <laughs> and by the way, for those of you going, it doesn't really look like. Guys, it looks like him. No, I, I'm telling you, I swear guys, to God, that looks like him. We get to the, to, but you have to put it in the scope of what the other drawings look like. It's the best thing I've ever done. Nobody's saying that if you held a picture of Matt LeBlanc and this, someone would be like, Matt. That's exactly the same. But what we're saying is, for me, that's... we. I think for anyone that looks like Matt LeBlanc. Well, I honestly think... There we, you go. And I didn't even say it, but this is the best thing I, I will ever do. With no ears. You could probably be an actually good drawer. Doesn't even need ears. Can I tell you that when my... When, um, this is one of the best things that ever happened to me. My brother was a phenomenal drawer. Like, is drawer a word? I'm so high. That art, sounds artist, drawler, not drawler. Well, Philly, we have an L. Draw is drawer a word? Drawing. Do you like my drawing? I says my mom. Do you like my drawing? Wait, do you like my drawing? Drawing. Yeah, Philly drawing. And crayons, we called crowns. So what? I always thought Jack and Jill fell down the hill was like blown out of proportion. You want to hear a good Joe Diaz story? What? Okay. Dude, by the way, I did his podcast the other night. Yeah. He took a painting down. I was like one of he while I was still there. 
That's crazy. It was so sad. It's crazy. I was like, can't wait till I leave. He's moving to Jersey. Yeah, it's so crazy. All right, let me, want to hear a good one? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so we were at my daughter's um, birthday party. And I asked him, I said, where's the candy? And he didn't want to say it out loud. Because he didn't want you to hit him with a stick till it fell out? No. Because he didn't want my he didn't <laughs> want my joke. he didn't want my daughter to know. So he spelled it. He goes, it's in the DR. Because he was the pinata. He goes, I get it. He goes, it's, <laughs> it's in the D R E W. And I was like, what? You're, oh no. I said, what? And he goes, the D R E W. I go. He goes, it's in the drawer, Joshua. It's in the fucking drawer. <laughs> and I go, hey, that's not how we sure. I go, that's not how we spell it. He goes, that's how I say it. I go, yeah, but we have to spell it all the same. <laughs> you can't start making it up. Agree. We have to agree on how to spell it. Like, you can't just and change it because that's how you say it. The children took, stole the language. It was hilarious. The children got on the internet and changed it. To draw. <laughs> it was, yeah, 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 yeah. Draw did, that's good. Draw, drawer. Drawler. <laughs> What are you saying, drawler? Why are you saying drawler? That's just how we say it in Philly. Draw you draw with an L. You draw a picture. I don't know why. I thought what else do you add the um, L to? It's like o over eggs. Over over easy eggs. Like you do the like, o o is that Philadelphia? A little bit, yeah. Isn't that Minnesota? Over isn't that Matt eggs. LeBlanc? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey. That fucking looks like him. Yeah. It got guessed fast. The fastest. He Aaron, said TV. Aaron, you know what to do. Send me your um, address and that you pick Joey from Friends and remember to tell <laughs> me what you want. If you don't want the hat, <laughs> I'll send you a t-shirt. You have to remind him because he's so high, you guys. That's so funny. Yeah, no. If they don't, tell me what They'll, They'll never. Remember. No, they never get it. But I, I'm supposed to remember. I don't remember. Sometimes when they'll send me this uh, message, they're like, I won. I'm like, good for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't remember. Like, ah, what? I don't remember this night. You get street. You're like, what? What? Like, how, how can I get <laughs> street and getting street? This. Hmm. Are you going to the store? I might. Yeah, I probably will. What are you going to do over there? <sighs> Somebody's just like so bad. You just feel it. You go like, ah, remember? <laughs> do you? Are you, you going know, over there? I might, but I, we, I did stand up out of the window, but they're not doing it anymore. They just did it once because they want to follow all the rules and stuff. Are they not allowed to do stand up out of the window? They're trying to work on eventually there's going to be some sort of something they can do. In the parking lot in the parking or something? Lot, I think, yeah. But they, they still have a lot of stuff. I gotta figure out. Yeah, it seems weird that you because everything's like sort of open, not open, but it's it doesn't it's not unsafe, you know. Do you know the second time I ever did live comedy in my life after my very first open mic, I got a job. Gave so, a blowjob. Yep. Okay. I gave a. I got a job. The dude who ran the open mic was like, I got a gig. I need someone to go with me. You can be part of it. So <laughs> So this, you were on the road after your first listen, listen. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> listen. So I got to do real shows too. The I did good shows. Gig was, <laughs> I was so new. We were on in a um hidden in a in a display window that faced the main street in Hartford, Connecticut. And in like a um Macy's or a store yeah. like that. And before people were doing hidden mic stuff. Yeah. So we had a speaker in the You're like talking mannequins mailbox. So I was pretending to be in the mailbox, but <laughs> I was looking at people from that's the, so improv -y. It was that's so improv, Jamie. That's so, so UCB. It Ew. Was so was, I'm comedy store. You're I being UCB. I can't believe it. That was the second. That that's was, so funny. That, you were a you're like, hey guys, it's me, Mailbox. Down here. No, but Down like <laughs> I convinced this older couple that I was trapped in there. 
and the guy was gonna go get help. I'm like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just they like, thought you were really no, yeah. It was a small. It was a small. I had to tell them, <laughs> you know, one of the giant blue mailboxes <laughs> that they used to have on the streets. So we were supposed to be in there. That's funny. It was a paid gig. Yeah, I forget. His name was Leo. I, th I think his name was Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> this is where Josh is so good at name dropping. He'll fucking just slide it all in. Definitely not Leo Nardo. He'll just slip it in in the conversation. It was definitely not Leo Nardo, anybody. But have you? Um, I never met him. Ah. No. There have been parties in my friend group. Like, I haven't gone, but I'm like a friend away. <laughs> I'm one degree from DeCap. <laughs> Is there a party out of anybody's party that you would want to go to? Um, do you know who I'm I like? How do I make Hitler a funny answer? Do you that know literally what? is what my head just said. Hey, you know who I would geek out about? You know who I <laughs> would geek out about? Who? The Rock. The Rock. Yeah, maybe not geek out, but the dude is. Here's the so thing: you positive. have to be, but you have to be willing to have it fail. Yeah, man. So the, it has to be someone you're. It can't be someone. It can't be your number one because your number one. When you meet them, you know they're not going to be. Not good. freak out like that, but just really be like, you know, there aren't many people that I'd stop and be like, "Hey, man, you're really doing a lot of good shit." Oh, like yeah, that guy. Hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but sometimes you gotta just do it. Yeah. So he's one of not freak out like, oh, uh, 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 but just one of the few people I feel like. You but really, you'd have to be like, you'd have to do it confidently. Like, yeah, you'd have to be wearing man. a hat. Like, you'd have to be like, you know, do you have a hat? I have. Do I have a hat? Let me show you what you'd have to do. That is the craziest question anybody has ever asked me in my life. When you ask The Rock something, you can't do just be like I a loser. You can't just be a loser. I had a hat. When you meet The Rock, you have to be like, you have to be cool too. You have to be like, oh, I love your work, like obviously, but <laughs> like we're peers. You have to like give him like a. That was you confident in front of The Rock? Yeah, that was me being really confident. In front of, okay, so The Rock's here and I go, I really like your, your work. No, 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 I'm The Rock. Okay, you're The Rock. Why can't I be The Rock? I mean, there's a lot of answers <laughs> to that. <but laughs> I mean, just for the game. Hold on one second. No, nothing's gonna help. I was looking for back there for something. I got <laughs> no, but like, go ahead, go confident again. Tell me, tell me, tell me what you should do. Go ahead. Um, oh my God, Mr. Rock. Mm -hmm. I think already you're out, Mr. Rock. I don't but if you do it, I f I would be more flirty because I'm a girl, so I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> I would go overboard. I would go, oh, you're so famous. I <laughs> I like telling famous people they're famous. I always do that. I go, yeah. you're so famous. It's so weird. I definitely would. Matt do Dillon that. used to come into my a restaurant I worked at. He's yeah. so famous. We would just talk about it. I would just be like, you're it's weird how famous you are. He's a different he's been famous. He's been for famous. So That's what we long. talk about. It. Like, you've been famous for since you were like a kid. He's yeah, for got, so long. He's like, like, I got really famous when I was 14. So he's never really known what it's not like. Yeah, he's just been Matt Dillon, most of Matt Dillon. All of even when he's like he's not doing a lot of stuff, but people know who the fuck that guy is. Yeah, he's this famous, famous, famous. Yeah. He's he's so famous. He he's on social media, but he doesn't really give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like he just, I gotta check up on his social media. Oh dude, What's he up to? his Instagram is super cool. You don't think I follow Matt Dillon, motherfucker, just to see how to be cool as shit? That's what he is. He's cool. I'd bring the eggs back. They'd be wrong, right? They'd be runny. He'd tell me they're runny, but very nicely. He doesn't get walked all over getting eggs the wrong way. But yeah, he was respectful when he asked for it. He actually, oh, I was, I was, like obviously a psychotic waitress. I was an open micer and waitress in New York City. I had just quit drinking. I was like, I was working all day. Then I was doing like four open mics a night. It was really fun. That was a good time. But I was right off of Tompkins Square Park. My parents came to visit. I was in a fight with my boyfriend at the time. I'm in the park like, I'm like so mad at this guy being such a crazy person. I'm very young. <laughs> I'm very emotionally stable now. I would never do that. Um, <laughs> she did bring, I was carrying my parents. She did bring nunchucks. 
Oh, I do have nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning how to nunchuck on my Patreon. Good. Yeah. I think that's a great skill. Um, but so uh, we're in the park. We're, I'm like so upset. I'm like crying over this guy. And we leave the park and Matt Dillon walks by and he goes, hey, he goes, because he knew I did comedy. He goes, he goes, hey, funny girl. He goes, are these your parents? Oh. And I go, yeah. And then he goes to my parents. He goes, she's like the sweet. He goes, she's so sweet or something. And I had just been screaming and like cursing in the park. Oh it was very God. funny. It was a good moment. And then. Like I, my, like I had just fixed my face. Oh. <laughs> I was like, and then, but then you can't possibly feel sad at all, can you? After oh, that, man. Matt. Dillon, by the way, just curious. Are the, are those you've been thinking those lights at all? Looks like fire. It doesn't look like that. <laughs> that was probably. Oh, uh, we're getting fucked up. That was probably pretty a pretty high thing to do. Three times in a row? We both looked, too. Three times? I went with you. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Um, that's a great story, Matt Dillon. I like, um, he seems like the type of dude who knows he's Matt Dillon, who doesn't give a shit that mm -hmm. he's Matt Dillon. He just wants to be Matt Dillon. You know who came out of the bathroom once and I went, oh, shit, Huey Lewis wearing sunglasses out the bathroom. Yeah. Huey Lewis in did, sunglasses. Did that, uh, was that the one person where you were like, okay. No, I was just like, that's fun. I was like, that's fun. What bath? Julia Stiles would come in. It was like so crazy. It was so fun. Where did you work? Kate Winslet. Where did you work? Um, I worked at. Um, it was uh, called uh, Life Cafe. I worked at El Cholo, um, which was a Mexican restaurant in where? downtown. I Los worked, Angeles? Yep. I worked in the catering division. That's not bad. Catering's chill, dude. You get, they give you, he's you, like bullshitting. Listen, Catering's a good job. When you're a comic, catering's the shit. Great job. You just do it some days. Guess what? So, yeah. Joe, Thanks. Joey Diaz, where, you know, we used to, um, if you've never catered or been done anything like that, when you, the things that you light the pans on fire with, that material, that kind of flammable liquid. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to take away the oxygen to put it out. That's the only thing that puts it out. Oh, we're getting very sciencey. <laughs> so Joey's Whoa. in charge of cleaning up the house. Okay. I don't know where we are, or what we're talking about. We're talking about Joey Diaz at, at doing um, catering. Catering. With wow. And wait, you goes, and Joey catered together? Oh, yeah. And Who he, else? Were you pissed when that show came out? You were like, we, I could have done that show? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what show I'm talking about? The catering yeah. show? What catering show? Remember they had the catering show on Stars? It was good. It was funny. It was uh, Wait, just, just think a about, catering think comedy. Think about it was what good. you just said. That ended with that show on stars. I don't even know what the <laughs> No, fuck it was that good. Is. You saw it. You saw it. I for sure Lizzie, if it was uh, on Liz Kaplan's in it. If it was on stars, it's a hundred percent chance I never saw it. <laughs> I saw it. The catering show with Adam Scott. I like all of these people that you're mentioning. However, <sighs> if the show was on stars, <laughs> there is a zero percent <laughs> chance. <laughs> That I saw that. What was it? Something me? What was it? If it, even if it was, it's me, Josh Wolf. If it was on Star, Party Down, Party Down. Oh, for sure. Never saw a show called Party Down. <laughs> How was popular? Why are you so positive that I had seen? Because a it show was popular. With guys. Who? It was. Didn't everyone see that fucking show? Everyone. Party down. But why? But why? Why? Why should I be watching it on stars? I don't even know where that is. What is that? <laughs> it's like an HBO. Right? I don't know how I. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember what password I put in. <laughs> Party down. I have not. Seen Never it. heard of it. Mary. 
you're pandering to Josh. You need to be on my side. We're girls. No. No, it's like, girls against boys, and we're outnumbered ladies. We need to stick together. I, you make Gallagher? Oh, okay. So I get to tell you. I opened for Gallagher. What? I opened for Gallagher at the Hollywood Improv once. His son plays the didgeridoo on stage with him. Didn't his brother steal his ass? Yeah, some, some shit went down. But he doesn't do the fruit anymore for some reason. So he's just, it's just, but he, yeah. I get people that follow him. I, him. I think I just solved a mystery. I, there was this girl, the only girl that I ever, ever really broke my heart. I oh, this is getting. I took her to see Gallagher. This is getting I, sad. I took her to see Gallagher. That explains. How it. did she break your heart? I want you to feel it again. Did you? I watched Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. She recently. was probably like. Did you think about her when you saw the movie? She was probably. She was probably like. You took me to Gallagher, motherfucker. It was a big. She night. broke up with you after it. I. Not right after. But. I can't help thinking that that's <laughs> You wish that had something to do with it. Yeah, it's it was your much. personality, bitch. This whole time has been like, it's because I took her to Gallagher. No, it's you. She dumped you, bitch. Uh, you I gotta don't feel think so. it. I think I'm going to go with You have to feel it. You have to well, feel the pain in life. I hadn't thought of that. That might have been a, uh, something that escalated. The Did you ever have like a girl? I had a guy come back to me and like apologize. He was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, oh. I didn't like you like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're like, oh, I didn't. <laughs> I've had somebody apologize. When they're like, before. I have really hurt you. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I was cool. I was good. Oh, yeah. I, somebody apologized to me. And and I think I, I think I accepted it, but not really. Because I, then I think I did something shitty to her. I think I'd probably just been retaliated yeah just a long time <laughs> i think i just held on to it i i, I just i think i just was not was like you know what we're not even until we're even. <laughs> <laughs> you know you I, sound like a crazy guy to break up with you're one of the guys no, that like goes throws down no no only one time <laughs> only one time ever <laughs> Let me tell you how crazy I got. I got so crazy. How old were you? You were like a kid, though. This is going to be an annoying story. It's like I was 17. No, 21. No. Oh. All right. 21. I had to be 20. Yeah. I was Still a kid. so bananas. You ready for this? I needed to... I'm sure she had said it a zillion times. I needed it as clear, what? and she would never say, "Yeah, I just I don't want to be with you." Oh yeah, she wouldn't cut it off. She would never say, "I just don't want to be." Was with this you. Ellen? It was. <laughs> so you see okay? one of the craziest things I did. <laughs> Let me tell you the craziest thing I did. I went to the guy's house who she was having sex with when she was there, and he was like, "What do you want, man?" I go, "Just she's got to come out and end it." here oh my she god got, this is like her. a rom-com and, the, and did you fall in love with her neighbor let me tell you something <laughs> i made her come outside and say it because i knew if she didn't i never i was like i i don't know what it was it never been like that before never been like that since but there was i i guess everybody has that one time where you lose your fucking mind yeah one time, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies? It's just one time, right? <laughs> one time. You, I mean, look, man. I, I bet I you. I got dumped on Christmas Eve once. I got, I've had some one where what? I was like. What? Okay. This girl. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> th this this <laughs> girl who did this to me in college. She got dumped she got flown across country. Ooh, a, a fly dump? A fly dump and fly out? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give you a, a one. The layovers you get dumped? Right. It's been a long-term. It has been a long-term long uh, relationship, long relationship where she was pregnant. Who? This girl was pregnant. Okay. He And he had been doing a long-distance a long relationship. He flew her across country. 
literally. <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Weekend. Now there's a kid involved. I'm I'm wrapped. I, and broke the girl she was pregnant. And broke up. And said, I just I didn't want you because he knew that the place that he had got her for, got it for the rental place. The hotel was nice, nicer. He goes, I just didn't want you to be alone by yourself. Basically calling her apartment where she had lived a piece of shit. So you can stay here this weekend. This has been all paid for, but I'm taking it. I have never talked to a person that? rich enough to do that. So. Can, can you? No, it was a bit of a. That's how you stay. Exactly stay ladies. Fucking crazy. <laughs> That's really crazy. That's so sad. That yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, Baby involved. That's sad. Oh my god, that's the worst one I've ever heard. That's the worst one I've ever. But heard. if you think about it, what happened to you? When, were it, but when you get broke up on New Year on the Christmas, I was young. Though, I was like nineteen, but I was in love. I was what like, did you do? How did you react? I cried. Did you ever? <laughs> I cried a lot. Did you ever? What? What? What was your means of contacting him at the time? We were. We. Did you have cell phones? There were cell phones, but we, so we were, were dating at college and then I was supposed to go meet his family, but we were dating fast. It was a fast thing, but he wanted me to meet his family. He invited me. So then, um, he like drops me off at the airport and then he's, I'm supposed to fly out on New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve or yeah. New Year's Eve. No. And he doesn't talk to me till Christmas Eve. He finally calls me back. And he was like, oh, yeah. Cancel your trip. Like, oh, okay. Like, I was like, I mean, that was a rough one. I'd be at, like, the dentist. And they'd be like, how was your trip? And I'm like, oh, my mom. I'm like, your mother on town? It was so embarrassing. I was like, oh. Because you want your feelings to be private when you're young like that, too. You don't want to know you're all sad. It's embarrassing. Super funny. Um, all right, listen. I'm going to take off, everybody. This has gone almost 20 minutes longer than they normally do. Oh, so fun. Follow my Patreon. Tell them. Come to my Patreon. It's so fun. We have two tiers. We do fun stuff. I'm learning nunchucks. Um, I have a thing, $20 holler for my bigger show. It's fun. We all hang out. So one of my guys was on here. Um, and, yeah, it's fun. I right. like it. Come to my Instagram. All right. during COVID. Guys, you know what the deal is. For those of you... Who, oh, follow my YouTube and listen to my podcast. I forgot about my podcast. Go. For those of you... Me inspiration. Me inspiration. Andy Letterman, YouTube. Uh, and, and by the way, her podcast is super fun. And I'm starting a vlog. Okay. Wait, what What do you mean? I'm vlogging. I don't know what that means. I'm going to figure it out. I'm just videotaping a lot of things. <laughs> I'm going to put them together. That, is, and are you going to like walk around and give reviews or shit? Or what's the point? I thought I'm just going to be like, this is my, this is what's up today, guys. <laughs> 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 this is what's up. I love that. They want to watch it. Yeah. You know, you want to see what's up with me today. I'm, by the way. I have, my life is fun. <laughs> if your vlog isn't called Annie I Letterman, fun stuff. what's up with me today? What's up with me? Follow me today. What Annie Letterman? <laughs> what's up with me today? Today, <laughs> <laughs> give me the Dulce fingers for that. Oh my god! Today, oh my god, Dulce Sloan, everybody. Guys, we love you. The people who are on here should be on here. You know what the deal is. We'll Follow see you my next. Shit. We'll see you next Monday. Um, I let you guys in. Follow me. <laughs> always good. Always Mondays. Check out the high live. I always forget to do this. This is so crazy that you do this every week. But the merch is right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the merch, guys. The merch is dope, and we forgot to bring it out here. You know I'm terrible at promoting that shit. We love you. Um, and we're out. Later. <laughs>